Okay, well, we are staying consistent here. We are on day two of doing this video recording, video journaling stuff. And boy, did I fucking not want to do this today. I fucking, I got up at 4.30 this morning. I got ready. I took all my supplements. I did my shit. I went to the gym. 30 minutes of cardio. Did all that stuff. Couldn't sleep last night, fell asleep at like midnight, so I was fucking tired. And all my brain was doing was telling me not to do any of it. It's like, just go back to bed. You don't have to record it. You did it yesterday, that was the goal. You just wanted to sit. It's like, Jesus Christ, like, it's funny. Just like, <laughs> when you do stuff that makes you like completely uncomfortable, like how much you will try to talk yourself out of it when you're tired or maybe you don't feel good or your hair's fucked up or you haven't shaved or whatever the fuck kind of excuse you can come up with on the fly trying to talk to your phone your cat wants you to play with her and she's waiting for you to be done fucking recording your video thing that you're doing <laughs> i mean it's just funny but i mean that's that's where i would start and i i got some stuff i want to do today I, when I did this yesterday, I was looking at like how my monthly goals were set up and stuff. I fucking hated it. Like they're so specific and so like lofty, like I'm setting myself up for failure. And the whole point of this is to literally like, I'm myself kind of stuck in trying to find the next move in my life and what I'm trying to do. So if anybody stumbles across this and starts to watch it, like I want them to be like, fuck, I can do that. That fucking guy's doing it. You know what I mean? Like. And that's the whole point of this. So like the, the meal prep and that kind of shit, like I'm in like bodybuilding's a hobby and stuff like that. Like I like it, but like, I'm not gonna show that. I'm not fucking ripping steroids. I'm not fucking huge. If anything, I'm just, I ate like shit for six months and now I'm overweight. So the cutting thing, like I'll show the progress of that cause it's goal setting and stuff like probably on Wednesdays. Cause that's kind of like when it weirdly started for me, but nah, I mean, I'm still eating the same shit over and over again. Like hitting a certain protein, you know, goal, like 180 grams, like eating less than 2,400 calories a day and making sure I do 30 minutes of cardio on top of lifting every day. I know I'm losing weight, like I'm perpetually hungry, but you know, maybe then down the road, that's something I can show or I'll be more interested in showing if I get more crafty with it, but I'm really not. Like what I think is really important is what I talked about before I went on the weird uh, food cooking rant. It's that like, I would rather, this be something that really focuses on that like okay like because i've hit a point in my life where i'm trying to find like i said my next move and what i really enjoy not that i'm not happy for my career or my job or my opportunities that i've had but i just feel like there's like you know something else i would rather be doing but i'm still going to try hard at whatever i'm a part of so yeah i'm just going to explore other options but I think really that's it. I think, like I said, I think the main point of today is like, no matter how bad you don't really want to do shit, like, or you're fucking, you slept four hours and you don't give a shit, like, <laughs> that fucking toy in the camera, that's funny. Uh, you just gotta go. You just gotta do it. You gotta like build the habit, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm sitting here, tired of shit. And, 9 a.m. on a Monday, trying to record this, so. Yeah, I think the next cut will be just me going over why I'm gonna redo like my monthly goals and going over my daily stuff and my planning and yeah, I'll keep messing around with the cadence of this and keep, uh, <laughs> just keep fucking with it. See what I can't figure out. What do we think? Yeah, this looks pretty good, okay. Yeah, I went ahead and decided to just go ahead and finish this before I, uh, before I eat, so. Yeah, so I guess one thing I want to do is this is a good time to review, like, my, like, doing my stuff, like, or my daily goals from yesterday, so. I did everything except assemble this dresser that I have from Amazon. That's becoming, like, a, I don't know, like a mountain out of a molehill thing. My brain's trying to make it, like, a daunting task, when in reality it's probably, like, an hour. I think I just have apathy from <laughs> moving into this place suddenly, like two two months ago, I think, and having to just assemble piece after piece of furniture. So 
That's okay. We'll make that number one today because I don't need it to take up any kind of mental bandwidth at all. But I'm gonna try to like uh, refocus a little bit. Like I think I was being pretty lofty with like these monthly goals and stuff, which I'm okay with that. It's good to like think highly or dream big or whatever the, the hell works for you, I guess. But like for me, I think like simple is what we need to start with here because this is the first time I've really, really documented stuff. I've got some good habits I've formed. And if like that's where you're at in your life, like that's what you should focus on first. Like that should be the daily goal. I, if it's like, I don't exercise, it should probably be maybe do some push ups, something little to where you can check it off and your brain feels happy and you can build on it. So like, I don't write that stuff down anymore. I mean, I meditate daily, like putting that as a daily goal to me is, unless I, f I trick myself into not doing it, like I said, I do it later and I don't, I usually am pretty good about doing it at least five minutes like a day and I'm working back up to 10. So I think what I'm trying to say with all of this is just keep it simple and then build on like a system and I think that's what I'm trying to develop anyway. So maybe we'll we'll get there as we do it. So my daily goals for me today is once again, gonna write this down and I'm pretty much gonna do this when I've got free time, like lunch hour from like my other job. Like that's what I'm gonna do. So assemble dresser, that will be done today. Start Ubering. So one of my monthly goals is to like make additional income. That's like, I'm already approved for Ubering. I already did it. It's not the loftiest of thing, but thanks. But like, if you want to make money and you live in a pretty populated area and you have a car that'll work or it can get approved, it's a really easy side job. Like you got to put in the hours, but I mean, it's, it's there, you know, I'm not going to guarantee anything, but it's there. At least you can get started doing that and like for me that's what I'm trying to do like I made it pretty apparent in the first part of this video that I am exploring other options because I have a good career I like that stuff but I don't know that it's that it's for me and I'm okay saying that like it's all right I'm gonna work really hard at it still but I'm gonna also explore other stuff which I think is fine so then what's the other thing Oh, this is a good one for, I'm sure there's a, you know. <laughs> uh, I've been doing Duolingo Spanish for a while. And I was really good about it, but now I'm starting to get a little meh. And I feel like if you do the quests every day on that app, like you spend like 15 minutes learning probably, like 15 to 20. So that's probably a healthy amount to make sure that you're actually learning, I guess, the content that's on the app or whatever. And then I gotta write down, I mean, this is, uh, I have to do this, but I'm gonna write it down anyways, because sometimes you need like an easy win, but I'm gonna meal prep these turkey burgers because I only have two left. And I think that's a good starting point. So with like these affirmations, I made fun of myself doing it the other day and it's funny, but like, I think I need to be more simplistic with it and I need to be more direct. I think writing like this lofty stuff, like I said, is I'm setting myself up. It's good to, like I said, shoot high, but I think I'm setting myself up for failure and it's too much pressure. And I think the best way to start stuff and continue with it is to not to do anything like that. So like. You know, I'm gonna just write down some really easy ones today. I'm feeling pretty good even though I'm tired. I'm only gonna do three. I'm just gonna write down. I attract abundance. I like that one because really, if you think about it, there's like a big scarcity mindset and we live in, I mean, if you live where I live, I mean, there's some opportunities just depending on where you're at. I'm not gonna say it's the same for everybody, but you could probably make some plays and make stuff happen. And, the world, there's a lot of, a lot of money, a lot of stuff floating around. Like, I'm not saying it's that easy, but it's good to not think that things are impossible or like resources are scarce because then it makes it seem like it's way harder to like achieve what you want to do or like do things. Okay, so then another one. Let's see. I this one's funny. Am losing weight. 
This is a big one for me. Oh my God, my cat just charged one of her tunnels. She's, whenever I get home from the gym, she just wants to play super hardcore. So I gave her 10 minutes before I started doing this and that was not enough. Uh, I am losing weight. This is, uh, I am hungry every day and I haven't really tracked my calories super well. This is a goal for me right now, just in general, because I'm, I've gotten a dad bod status. And I don't really want to have that. Like, I have a decent amount of muscle. I've lifted weights for a while. I've talked about doing a cut forever. And in reality, the last six months, I probably just did a dirty bulk where I had 200 plus grams of protein a day. That's not ideal. I weighed 220. I need myself to believe that I'm losing weight and it's gonna be worth it and I need to stick to it. That's why I'm writing that down. And then the third one, you know, this has been something that I've like dragged my feet on like because I don't wanna work extra because I'm lazy. I think I'm just gonna write I'm an Uber driver. It seems like, it seems dumb. But I mean, that's, that's a real easy way. I am an, not a, Uber driver. Now, I know this, like, okay, this is, like, super, to me, even sometimes when I do it, it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, really? But I think it matters. Like, I think that positive reinforcement in your head, I think something happens. I'm not a doctor. I'm just some dude trying to figure shit out and writing stuff down on a normal whiteboard, making a second YouTube video ever, and, you know, hmm. I wanted to make a TikTok for the first time in my life today. That's a bonus. That'll be a bonus goal. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll have that upstairs. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo this. Like, God, these goals are, they're great. They're great. They have some steps. I know the steps, but too lofty. It just needs to be redone. It's not worth it to me. And I'm not being hard on my, oops, not being. <laughs> I'm being hard on myself. I'm not being mean or disrespectful or not easy on myself. It's just, I think I can do this better and I think I can have more. Like, and I think I like that. It's a month. There's a good amount of stuff you can do in a month. Having three things, three things to focus on is good. And I mean, ranking them is also good, but like, so um, number one is obviously this is today, but I'm gonna do this consistently it's got to be tangible every week week so we'll just put 20 hours I bet on the weekend and stuff not I bet I know on the weekend and stuff I can do that I think I can definitely do that so I'm gonna go ahead and that's what I'm gonna do that's the metric with the downtime I'll have throughout the week and stuff like that, I guarantee 20 hours is doable. And anything above that, I'm achieving the goal, so it doesn't matter. That's good. Like, that's what it needs to be. And I'm not, well, it's, that's good. Two. <sighs> Shit, what was my other stuff? Oh, yeah, okay. Read or listen to three books. So that's a pretty good one. I'm listening to some Living Forward, my buddy, Rick Lally's buddy slash mentor recommended to me. Is it Living Forward, I think? Yeah, it's like a book. It talks about like goal setting and life planning and stuff. It's been pretty good. And that might be something if I think it's worth it when I do the actual like life plan from the book. Like I gotta do that probably sometime this week. Like it'll be, it might be worth it to show. I like, go over it, I'll figure out how to do that. Um, what was the other thing that I wrote down? How about this? Let's uh, track, track, track calories every day, day, and stay under 2400 tangible easy i already do it it's good i need to keep doing it i just talked about the weight loss affirmation that lines up pretty good probably i 
just like couldn't read 2400 it like froze my brain there but like probably it's a good thing to have so we have that books boom I'm trying to think if i had any other stuff that i wanted to do oh it was this which i'm doing consistently but uh do i just want to write i don't know content create ah, whatever it's fine create youtube slash TikTok of daily planning. Oh, and I got a fifth one. I was thinking about this today and I liked it. I'm getting pretty close. Duolingo's broken up into like sections. And I think if I do as much as I was talking about every day, and I'll make this probably a consistent daily goal, finish section one of duo lingo i think that's gonna be good i think i like that a lot better and i think that's something that's good it's like being able to like reevaluate your progress and thinking about like how you're doing things and if you like it or not like I think is really important and that was the thing like I wrote some lofty stuff over here but I only had three goals and three is good I mean if you're just getting started like just make it simple and make it something that you could do and that was my big thing I had wrote up here I written up here a dollar amount I can't control how much money I make when I get in my car and go pick people up but I can control how often I do it it needs to be tangible like that I can't promise myself that I'm going to make X amount of dollars by doing it. But I can control how often I'm gonna do it. So if like if that applies to anything else, I wanna work out two hours a week is better than I wanna start working out or I wanna work out 20 minutes a day. Like that is tangible. You can legitimately get a stopwatch, hit the stopwatch and do push-ups, take a break, do push-ups, take a break, do sit-ups, take a break. I mean, if you're like trying to just get started and doing something, whatever, and you're gonna be there, like that's gonna, it's gonna happen. And then build on it over time. So I think this is, this is looking pretty good. My handwriting is not really the best, but I'm okay with that. That's never really been one of my strong points. So I think, uh, I think this is good. I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, like I said, the meal planning and stuff like that. I can, you know, I'll probably talk about my calorie intake and stuff, but like I know what I'm eating. And unless, you know, I really think it's worth it for me to post me eating a sandwich and talking about my thoughts while I eat a sandwich, I'm probably not. But I'm going to do it. But I like this. This is good. And I think this is a good cadence. I think just like a kind of like a meet every morning and talk and then do this kind of planning stuff is good content at least just for from like the perspective of just actually doing it like for me so i can see that i'm doing it every day and i know that and then i'll work some other stuff in but maybe we'll get some kitty content at some point that's that's gold right there i think uh nothing good I think I'm good. I'm going to walk through the camera here and we're going to, we're going to cut and that's going to be it. I think we'll talk to you tomorrow.